Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And today I want to show you what to do if your Moto G Power 5G freezes or your touchscreen uh, becomes non responsive. Sometimes apps can get stuck or different things can happen with the phone and the touchscreen may not be working properly. If that happens, don't panic. You want to follow this button combination that will trigger what is called a soft reset. And think of it like uh, taking the battery out of the phone and putting it right back in. This will just simply shut the phone down. It will turn it right back on. And usually if there's a glitch with the phone, it will uh, clear it. So here's what to do in the event of one of these issues. You're simply going to hold down on the power and the volume down button. And you want to press them at the same time and you want to continue to hold them. One thing you might notice is that when you press them for the first time, it might trigger a screenshot and that's okay. Continue to hold the buttons until your whole screen goes blank. And at that point, you want to let go of the buttons and give the phone a few seconds to turn off and turn back on. Here's what it should look like. Volume down, power, hold. There's our screenshot. Continue to hold the buttons. Usually after about 10 seconds at the latest 20, the screen will go dark. And once it does, let go of the buttons and simply let it restart. Now the best case scenario here is that this will clear whatever um, maybe software glitch you might have uh, had going and the phone will just you know restart and the touchscreen will start working. However, if the touchscreen continues to not work, you might have a hardware issue and my recommendation is to take your phone into a local uh, service and repair center or find a local cell phone shop that um, fixes or replaces screens and have them diagnose your screen. If you have dropped your phone recently or your screen is cracked, that could be uh, one of the reasons and your touch screen just may not work anymore. So um, plan A is the soft reset. Plan B is to actually bring it to someone who services phones and see if they have any luck getting the touch screen to work. All right. If you found this helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Also, if you're in the market for a great pair of headphones, I just picked up these headphones by a company called J Labs. And these are really cool uh, Bluetooth headphones, uh, really high quality and surprisingly for a really aggressive price point. They're only, they're basically under $30 and um, great battery life, uh, great sound, great bass and you won't be disappointed. So if you're in the market for a new pair of Bluetooth headphones, I'll have a link below in the description of where you can check them out and uh, give them a shot. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful. Once again, like, favorite, and share, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, and as always, have a good one.